Hey, let's talk about uh, group manager service accounts and how to create them using PowerShell. Group manager service accounts are a new feature in Windows Server 2012. And if you used managed service accounts in previous uh, Windows Server versions, then you have an idea of what they are. Basically, a GMSA is a better version of a managed service account because it can be used on more than one server. So in the past, when you would create a managed service account, you would use it only on one computer. Now it's okay, you can use it on 2, 3, 4, 20, no matter what the number, you can do it. And one of the best things about group managed service accounts is that you do not have to manage the password. The password is managed by Active Directory, which includes also changing it uh, periodically. As far as uh, on which OS it works, it only works on Windows Server 2012 or Windows 8 and up. And you can use it for your services, for your scheduled tasks, or for your IIS application pools. The general steps to create a group managed service account are first, create the key distribution service from a domain controller. This is needed because this is used to generate the passwords and you only have to run this once. If you run it already, you can go ahead and create your group managed service accounts. The second step is optional, but I like to use it. Uh, we can create a group and add computers to that group and uh, assign that group permissions to be able to use a group managed service account. This way we don't uh, add individual computers to that GMSA. We can add them to the group. And of course, when we create the GMSA, if we use the group, we have to uh, give it permission to retrieve the password. So uh, it's, just a, uh, it's just a parameter in the command, you will see. With the GMSA created, we can go on our uh, hosts and install it. Basically just uh, uh, permit them to get the password. And with the GMSA installed, of course, we can then go ahead and use it in our services, schedule tasks, application pools, whatever. It's that simple. Let's go and see how we do it with PowerShell. I am on my domain controller, this year one. And the first two commands uh, depend on the environment that you run them in. If you want to enable GMSAs in your production environment, then please use this command. If you want to use them in your test environment, it's okay to use the first one. The big difference is that the second command will uh, require you to wait 10 hours before you can start creating GMSAs. This is very important so that you are sure that all your domain controllers from your environment uh, are replicated. I already uh, run this command in my domain so uh, I can skip. And the next command is the creation of our group for a letting computers access the GMSA. Let's create it. Let's also add a server to this group. In my case, I will add HVO1. And to create the GMSA, we just specify the name. This is not mandatory. And we just specify the group that is allowed to retrieve passwords. With the GMSA created, we can go ahead and install it on our host. But before that, I would recommend you restart it so you make sure that uh, everything is correctly applied as far as the group membership goes. And after we restarted, we first need to install the Active Directory PowerShell commandlets. This is needed 
so that we can then install our group manage service account on the server. Now our next two commands have to be run directly on the host. The first one installs the service account. The second one tests if it can be used correctly or not. And everything looks great. Now we can go ahead and create a scheduled task so that we test uh, the functionality. First, uh, my scheduled task will do a who am I lookup, then put that uh, text in c test user.txt. And if it exists, let's grant also the service account access to write in this folder because the service account is not a uh, administrator. So on HBO1, let's go to test, which is empty. Let's assign. In this case, I will assign users permission to modify. I don't care. It's only a test folder. Okay, users have permission to modify this folder. So then let's start creating our scheduled task. So guys, I have a better idea because I tried and it didn't work. I will place this text in a bot file or also in the test folder and we will actually create a task that runs this bot file on hvo1 in tests let's create a new document run a, name it script place the text in it and let's make it a bot file for this we need to go to view to options let's uh, disable the hide extensions and we rename it into script.bat okay so now we just run c test script.bat for the trigger i will run it once i don't care i will run it manually anyway this is important in a user we have to specify the gmsa and the logon type should be password Let's register the task, task registered, and now let's run the task, of course. And now if everything worked, we should have a text file in our folder. We should, I hope, see our user.txt. So let's see what we have in it. And we see that the task runs under the test GMSA account. So that was all about creating and using group managed service accounts. If you liked the video, uh, I would appreciate a like and a share. Please consider subscribing if you're not subscribed. And I'll see you in the next one.